I'm not sure what it is about transient stoves. I'm intrigued by stoves in general, but Trangia in particular is just so simple and elegant. My friend Jonathan, who has several decades of caving experience under his belt, has mentioned that Trangia stoves have been a mainstay for cavers for a very long time. This is because they're so completely reliable and simple. You know, one of my favorite things about Trangia stoves is that you can actually do some real cooking on it, which is fantastic. A lot of the canister stoves just get too hot and burn everything. Carrying this sort of frying pan isn't something I'd normally do on a normal backpacking trip, but in some scenarios on shorter trips or when you have some kind of luxury food items, it is a nice option. Egg and cheese burritos are by far one of my favorite camp breakfasts of all time and they work really well in other scenarios too like car camping. Oh yeah, there we go. Admittedly, Trangia stoves can get a bit unruly themselves but you do have a flame control which is really nice. And there you have it, egg and cheese breakfast burrito, one of my all-time favorite camp breakfasts. Made on a Trangia alcohol stove using a cheap frying pan, uh, MSR pan handler, uh, Sea to Summit spatula, and last but not least, this homemade DIY salt and pepper shaker. Mm. Man, that's good. I do have to thank my friend Bill Johnson for the gourmet camp cooking and frying pan idea. Uh, I seem to derive a lot of uh, camp and cooking and whatnot inspiration from him, so thanks a lot, Bill. This is just a really cheap $20, uh, 20 centimeter frying pan that I bought from uh, a, a cheap store and I removed the handle from. This particular one didn't have any bolts <clears throat> through the pan itself, so I could just basically twist the handle off and there's nothing protruding or sticking out uh, inside the frying pan itself. So, pretty good deal. Works well.